Well, hello there, friends. I wanted to do something really special for Thanksgiving this year. I wanted to make a dessert that you're going to remember for a long time. This is it. I decided, you know, I wanted to make a bread pudding. Then I said, now nah, I want to make an apple crisp. And I said, now nah, I want to do both of them together. That's what I did. I sauteed some real beautiful apple in a caramel sauce, and I mixed it up with a brioche pudding with all kind of fruits in there. And I made a top, crispy, amazing, and I made a white chocolate caramel sauce. All of that in this video. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, friends, well, it looks like I got a lot of stuff, <laughs> and I do, but you don't have to make it that complicated. I, I'm, I just like put it like the maximum amount of stuff you can put in on there. I mean, like, if you don't have half of them, you're still gonna have a good thing, okay? You gotta have bread. So, you know, I'm using brioche bread. Uh, you can use uh, a croissant, you can use oh, raisin bread. If you can't find uh, brioche bread, not always easy to use brioche bread, friends. Uh, so, but if you can't find it, just uh, 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 raisin bread, it works just fine. I got two things of butter going. <laughs> so I got four ounces of butter right there, and I'm going to saute the apple. And I got four ounces right there that I'm going to burn a little bit. So I get some, um, some caramelization of the, um, kind of like I'm about to make a, a ghee, if you will. And, um, and we're going to use that on the crisp. All right, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on it. I don't want it to brown too much, but I want to brown just a little bit. So look, friends, I'm going to put, I got three apple, three Granny Smith apple. Oh, oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to do a, um, let me tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, good idea. Huh. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, you, you, stop. Stop. Talk to you about it. It stops. I don't want it to get brown in it, see? You can smell it. It's a little uh, nutty. I like it when it's a little nutty like that. See? And, and we're going to put the, the, the thing in there, the nuts in there. And uh, you'll see. <laughs> going to make the crisp. The new people that come into the channel and say, this guy's a nuts. And that's okay. That's okay because I am my subscriber's nuts and you guys now. By the way, uh, new subscriber, welcome. You know, every day we got 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 new subscribers. God bless you all. And, and thank you for coming to the channel, friends. I got three quarter cup of uh, dark brown sugar. I'm gonna put on top of the apple, and I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, you know? I like cinnamon, but very, very little. I like it in the background. I don't like it in the foreground. See, and what does that mean? That means then you can't test it right away. Have you ever had an apple pie or? So what it is, it's a bread pudding apple pie. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that before? I never did. But I figured I wanted to do something very um, uh, thanksgiving -y, very holiday -y, holiday -y. and uh, And I figure what uh, a, a bread pudding is, is, is very traditional. So is apple. So is apple pie, right? So why don't I put the two of them together? So you don't have to do that either if you don't want to. You know what I mean? You don't have to put the, uh, the, the apple in there. You could just stick with a bread. And so it simplified the recipe. That's what I'm trying to say. So I want to simplify your recipe, friends, okay? Because sometimes people tell me my recipe are a little too much involved. I agree. All right, so look, the bread. In the bread, I'm going to add some dry fruit. We don't have to have dry fruits, okay? I have some, um, uh, I would say it's about two ounces of abricot that I cut in slow pieces. I got the same thing, same amount, two ounces of it of uh, uh, raisins, white raisins, um, uh, cranberries. Cranberries are certainly part of the holiday. And I got black cherries and I cut it in half because they were too big or I cut it in three pieces. You don't have to put all of these things if you don't have them. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, oh, look, look what I got. I got raisins. Those raisins I've been in, in rum. Those are my happy raisins. I give it to the kids in the morning. They have a great day at school. <laughs> you give them, hey, you have some, have some this with your, uh, 
with your uh, 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 cereal, friends, uh, kids. Here you go. Mix it all up. And you see, and what we're going to do, friends, when the apples are cooked, when the apples are cooked, I'm going to put them on top of this, and I'm going to put all this in there. Now, you see, it's starting to come together. And then I'm going to put the, um, the custard that I'm going to make, I'm going to put it on top of it. So how do I calculate the whole thing? Well, friends, the container I have right here is 9 by um, 13, I believe. Yeah, 9 by 13. And, uh, and, uh, and it's 12 cups. Let me take the uh, raisins out of there. 12 cups. So how do I make my measurements? Well, it's pretty easy to figure it out. The, um, I'm not sure why, oh, I know what this is for. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, um, I'm going to need one egg per cup. So I got 12 eggs right there going. I'm going to put cream. The cream is going to be a third of the size of the container. So it's about three cups of cream, heavy whipping cream. All right? And the bread, the bread filled up half of the weight right there, in half. That's all I did, okay? Filled up the bread in half. All right? So now, friends, we're going to make the, um, the crumble thing. The, cr the crumble thing. This is chopped uh, pecan. This is one cup of grape nut. You know the cereal, grape nut? Fantastic. Then I got right here half a cup of this guy right there. It's a five grain. Uh, it's got uh, um, uh, uh, rye, barley, oat, and we're going to put them in there. We're going to mix them in there. And then I got a, a half a cup of, uh, of uh, light brown sugar. I'm checking to make sure everything is going well, friends. So far, it's going well. And, uh, and, oh, and I got a, a three-quarter cup of uh, almond flour. Almond flour. You can use regular flour if you don't have almond flour. You got to go to fancy grocery store to get almond flour. No, actually, our Publix right here locally in Florida, they got almond flour. And so, and, and it's really nice. So for those of you that can't have flour, you, I'm pretty sure you can have almond flour. So let, let's break this up, friends. And this is where we're going to put, we're going to put a butter on top of that. <laughs> Anything with butter is going to be delicious. The apples are going to be fine, you see. I don't want to overcook them. All right. We're looking good, my friends. And, and you know what we're going to do, eh? We're going to serve this with a, with an ice cream, and I'm going to make it a little caramel sauce. I'm going to make it a little caramel sauce. But first, I got to get set up. All right, so look, guys. Let me test the apple. Make sure they, they're cooked. There. I want them to be soft, not, not uh, crunchy anymore. Uh, oh, I'm using uh, uh, apple, apple crisp. No, what do you call those things? Uh, the green one. Granny Smith. I always forget them apple crisp. We're going to mix them in there. They're soft. They're delicious. And they're, ooh, they're very acid. Friends, they're very acid. That's why you put the sugar. That's why I just did what I did. Okay, now, if you wanted to make an apple crisp, you take those, you take obviously a lot more apple than this. You know, you go like five times the amount of apple, right? And, uh, and um, uh, you put them in a container like this, just the apple, you forget the bread, and you put this on top, and you got yourself an apple crisp. So it's two dessert in one. Basically, that's what it is, okay? And a child could do it. A child could do it. <laughs> People say, yeah, I don't know my child. <laughs> you look, 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 look what I'm doing. I'm putting all this one there. Now, you know, I used to make them individual. In my a restaurant, in my school, I used to make those individual. So I had to calculate the recipe, what it was, for, for a big lasagna pan. Because I figured for Thanksgiving, it's easier for you to do it in here. You can still make a very elegant uh, presentation, okay? Don't stuff it too much because you got to put the cream in it. What am I doing? I can't do it. You know what I mean? I can't stop. I was packing it in. What's the matter with me? Uh, Sometimes I, I wonder. All right, look, guys. We're going to put the, uh, the eggs now. And, and this, we're going to put a little bit of vanilla. 
whoa, oh, one and a half teaspoon, a little bit of nutmeg. Again, like the cinnamon, put it in the back, put it in the back, put it in the back, put it in the back one. Don't put it in the front, okay? And, uh, and that means people that are watching the channel the first time and say, okay, what is he talking about? Put it in the front, put it in, put it in the back. Oh, I was afraid I forgot to put this. Oh, don't forget to put the sugar. See, uh, one cup of sugar. All right, friends, let's go. Oh, I got the mixer right here. <laughs> I got the mixer right here. See, look. See? Now, I don't mind if I give a little air. I pump a little air in there so it'll be nice and fluffy. You see? Woo I'm telling you, I should do this for a living. Oh, here we go, friends. Don't let me forget anything, okay? Let me know if I'm forgetting something. It wouldn't be the first time. What do you think? It's all going to go in there? Well, we'll see about this. Mix it up really good. Mix it up really good. Right there. If I finish and there's nothing left on the counter, that means I did it correctly. That remains to be seen. You see? That does remain to be seen. What do you think? I think what I need to do, I'm almost there. I need to do this. See? I need to do this now. I need to do this, friends. Mix it all up. You see? And it's, there you go. Mix it all up. It's very important we mix it all up, friends. Because if we don't mix it all up, then the cream is not going to go in the bottom of it, you see? You know what I think I could use, friends? Is a little more of the bread, and I got it right there, right there on that table. If you can give me some more of that bread, I think I can use just a little bit more of it right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want just a little bit more. It's a little too liquid, you see. So I'm glad I made that mistake. <laughs> Remember, I make mistakes so you don't make them. No, I was not going to do that, show you how to do that, because you're going to go, wow, I, okay, the bread's got to show up on the top, okay? It's got to show up on the top, like right here, or the whole thing. Okay, now it's perfect. So, that was a total of one loaf of a bread. See, that's what I wanted right there. I, so, I just needed, I thought it was going to be too much, and uh, I said, I'm going to save it, because uh, at the end of the day, if it's too much, I can always add it. But then I took it away. All right, we're looking good, friends. What do you think? What do you think? All right, now we're going to put a crumble on top of it. Oh, mamma mia. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm like, you see, I was going to forget something. I forget the butter. <laughs> I'm looking at the crumble. I go, man, that crumble is very dry. Yeah, that's because I forgot the butter. Ay, ay, ay. And you know, it's a little nutty because I browned it a little bit. Yeah, now we're talking. You see, friends? They, now you understand why I needed the butter. You see? <laughs> I'm like, hold a minute here. This thing is dry. What'd I do? I know what I did. I forgot the butter. Thank goodness Jack was here. <laughs> You like butter, butter. I said, yeah, I know you like butter. That's not what he was saying. I said, butter, butter, don't forget the butter. Yeah, here he is. It's looking good. Yeah, no, I like it. It's very nice. You know, I don't want to waste any butter. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? Because I hate wasting it. There you go. All right. Don't waste nothing. 
Now that's a crumble, you see, friends? Yeah. And you'll find uh, everything at the grocery store. I'll give you a, a perfect detail description of everything, friends. I'll give you a perfect description of everything. You'll have the measurement and everything. And this, let me tell you, friends, this is going to be heaven. This is really going to be heaven. It's absolutely delicious. All right, I'm going to make it nice and pretty. Then I'm going to pop it in the oven at 375. Okay, and the combos was perfect amount for the size of the dish. Perfect, perfect, perfect amount. There's no waste none. All right, friends. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to clean up everything. We'll make a little caramel sauce. And then we're going to take it out of the oven. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends. Well, we're going to make the caramel sauce. It's very simple. I got a, a cup of sugar. And I got about a half a cup of water. I'm going to keep a little water in the pot. I'm going to show you. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep a little water in here. Uh, you just want to... Mix the little, little list, the list, <laughs> can't speak, the least possible amount than you can. Okay, mix it just a little bit at the beginning, only in the bottom. If some sugar got on the side of it and you see it, take a little silicone brush and just do this, you see? See right there, friends? I take the water and I make a go, okay? Now, when you're making caramel, you just want to leave it alone. Leave it alone until it turns mahogany in color. That's when it's about to burn and that's when the house smells wonderful like you, you're cooking something delicious. Uh, matter of fact, for those of you that have seen a caramel custard video, matter of fact, if you haven't seen it, you gotta check it out. That's the perfect, perfect caramel. The, the texture on this thing is like, <sighs> anyway, um, where was I going? I forgot. Now all of a sudden I'm thinking of the cream caramel, you put it in your mouth, you close your mouth, it's like heaven. It really is. I'm telling you, if you ever never made it, you're going to make it. I, I make you a perfect creme caramel with not an air bubble at all. That's the secret. It's the perfect texture. Anyway, let me go back to this. So the, <laughs> when you make caramel, you, you want to leave it alone. Don't be mixing it. Now, if a little bit of just sugar splatter on the side, you keep that brush right there and do that. Now, make, make sure it's a silicone brush. Okay, not one of them painting brush you got at Home Depot. Because those are made on an island. And you know what happened in an island? It cooks. Now we got a little uh, flavoring of uh, an island in there. Uh -uh. Silicone. Silicone can take 500 degrees in heat and you don't need to worry about it. So we got uh, uh, a couple of more ingredients we're going to put in. When the caramel is really mahogany in color, really dark in color, we're going to stop the cooking process. But instead of doing it with water, we're going to do it with heavy whipping cream. And then, and then we're going to put a little white chocolate as the next sugar thing in it. Now, we have to be careful with that because you put too much white chocolate, when the sauce gets cold, it congeals. So you got to put it in the microwave a little bit if you want to. And we'll put a little bit of butter at the end. All right, friends, we're going to let that cook, get the mahogany in color. We don't mix it. We don't do nothing. And this could take a good uh, 10 minutes. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put the clock uh, the timer thing, and I'm going to tell you exactly how long it took. All right, so I'll be back in a second. All right, friends. So it's been about a good, uh, almost 10 minutes, but probably nine minutes. And um, and you can see then there is a little brown over there on this side, so I'm going to move the pots probably not exactly in the center. So I'm going to move it away and redistribute the heat. See, move it a little bit to the other side because I don't want that side to continue getting browned. Now, this is now you have to be, now there's no going doing anything, friends. You got to stay here. It's going to start smoking. You see? See, it starts smoking. And now this is very crucial. There's a mom, there's like a, uh, this is the moment you want to get the kids out of the kitchen. You'll see why. This is very dangerous. Sugar gets like, 350, 365. Sugar, it's super, super hot, friends. Uh, I'm all the way up to 400 already, so 425. And now look, see this color right there? 
This is when you say, oh, it's mahogany, it's, it's ready. That's when you say that. And then you wait a little bit longer, and then you go, okay, cream. Now be careful. This is going to go nuts, see? I want to put about a, a cup of cream in there. And then I'm going to put a little chocolate in there. Be very careful, friends. This is super, super, super hot. You want to make sure the chocolate has an opportunity to melt. You see? And we have a beautiful caramel sauce. We don't have a cup yet. We're going to melt this. We're going to put up to a cup of cream, which is just about what we have. Actually, we'll put a little bit less than a cup. All right, friends, I'm going to let the chocolate melt. And then I'm going to put it in a squeeze bottle. And when the, uh, the uh, pudding apple thing is ready, we'll take it out of the oven. Okay, friends, I just took it out of the oven and rose a little bit of it. Got some nice color on it. And um, if, if you stick it out, there's not too much color, you can put it in the broiler for a second, but not too much. Okay, so now we're going to let it rest. It's kind of like a lasagna, you got to let it rest, okay? Otherwise, you cut it right now. And then we're going to come back in a few hours, and, uh, and then we'll cut it and we'll serve with the caramel sauce. Caramel sauce, before I put it in a squeeze bottle like that, I put it in a glass container, okay? All right? And uh, we'll see you in a minute, friends. We're going to put this in the, uh, in, in, uh, we're going to let it cool. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Friends, I forgot the most important thing is to add a little bit of butter to your caramel sauce. Can you believe I forgot the butter? Sometimes I wonder about me, you know? And mix it up when it's still hot. <laughs> so it, so it, it doesn't, um, uh, right at the end, see that I put it in the bottle right there? And it, it dissolves because the sauce is still hot. And then I put it in the squeeze bottle. All right, I'll see you in a minute. And the bar is nicely melted, and this is cooler. Okay, friends, where? Let's make a nice slice. Look, they couldn't wait. <laughs> they wanted while it was very hot. They said, Chef, could we have it when it's really, really hot? I said, It's not gonna look good. And they go, Oh, we don't care. We just wanna eat it. Yes, there you go. So they added when it was not, um, when it was very hot. When it's very hot, it doesn't hold very well. So you have to wait for it to be cool. First of all, it's very difficult to eat. They had to put so much ice cream. They ate one whole thing like that of ice cream. Anyway, <laughs> friends, I have it right here. Just make sure you cut it really, really good. I cut it with a knife when I did that right there. So you just grab it, uh, the piece and, and, and the steak. Look, look at this face. Let me tell you something, my friends. This is going to be amazingly delicious um, I don't know if you can see it really really good with the apples in there like this but this is like the, the, to die for it really is okay can you see it right there Jack is it good right there yeah okay so now oh well, I wanted to tell you real quick about the caramel sauce friends when uh, the caramel sauce is uh, if it gets too thick just put it in the microwave for, for a few seconds because it will get thick, remember? There's white chocolate in there, then there is a little butter in there, this, uh, so it's often. I got, I'm gonna serve it with ice cream because uh, it's still warm. And, uh, and ice cream, I think, will do fantastic. So I got this simple, delicious vanilla ice cream. Then it's soft, as you can see. It's soft, and we want it to be soft because uh, you, you obviously, you can eat. And then we're going to take the caramel sauce, friends, and, and we're going to go in and put it in just like this. Very simple. Now, if you don't have one of those uh, squeeze bottles, if you don't have one of those squeeze bottles, not to worry, you can just take the spoon and drizzle it on it. And it'll be perfectly fine. Well, obviously, you're not going to do it like this. <laughs> okay, friends, let me tell you. The ice cream, I think, is a must. I think it's a must. So, you, you know, because uh, I, it's my job, I have to try. <laughs> yeah. So, you just cut it like that. And this is, is so amazing. They're probably not going to see it. I'm not going to be in front of the camera to do it. But I, I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. It's, it's beautiful. And... Uh, 
Oh, oh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. You probably can't hear, but. Mmm. It's amazingly crunchy. Mmm. And, and, and. Amazing. Fine. Serve it hot, serve it cold, serve it however you want to, but serve it and make it. It's fantastic. You don't have to put all the ingredients in here, but if one day you want to do it, trust me, this is going to be one of the best desserts you've ever had and so made for the holidays. Friends, I hope you enjoy. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Wow. Let me tell you, I know why you guys didn't want to wait, because this is a, amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's my job, so I got to eat. Mmm. Oh, I love my job. I mean, let me tell you. Mmm. <laughs> there you go. I help you. <laughs> that was funny. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 Fantastic.